All right, friends. So today we are looking at the rank one Elise, and uh, they're going to play in the mid lane. Elise mid lane has been a thing for a little bit of time. Um, about two years ago, there was this player who used to play it a lot, and we're just going to look at it, right? Why not play Elise? If you're really good at Elise, why not play in mid lane? So here he's going to get cheesed, actually. Um... By the Lee Sin and the Talons. Super weird though. As you can see that he's using Grasp of the Undying. Has proc two Grasps already. Flashes forward and will take down the Talon here. Talon throwing in the health pots. Actually is going to lead, is going to live. But Lee Sin doesn't get the kill either. Dude, what is this? Yeah, so Talon bullied out of the lane of course. And he's just walking underneath the turret. Goes underneath the turret. Starts trade super aggressively here. With the Talon. Also taking a little bit of damage. But you can see that he is just setting up for the next tower dive here. So just waiting for his E to come back up. Talon has to have a plan for once that comes up. So far, Elise doesn't have enough mana. Well... No, still gonna have enough mana. But Talon cannot really... Oh, Talon! Oh, Talon, that's a mistake, my brother. Okay, well, Talon... Uh, Talon thought he could get away with... A Q onto the minion there. That is not it. Very well done, though, so far. Okay. So we have a huge lead here over our opponent. We are also using Grasp of the Undying. So attacking the minions here to be able to stack that as well. He's going to get it right when it is about to come up. Actually the auto attack flying while the stacks are still building. Very good job as he's going to get ganked here. We'll take down the Talon. Will Lee Sin be able to trade against that? Yes. Lee Sin is able to trade against it. And we are not able to either. Fortunate as he ooh, now has a really delicious wave state here. It's gonna move behind the wave. Make Talon question. And just takes him down just like that, right? He just doesn't use his E until Talon locks himself into an animation. And this is the this is the skill that you have to have. As here we are going to get away temporarily, but now the skill shots have to be dodged. And the skill shots are dodged. As yeah, he, he can just use his spider links to dodge the skill shots there. Or to tank the skill shots, I should say. Very good job using the spider link healing here to his advantage as well. Grasp, of course. And uh, you can see here that he's threatening. Yeah, he's baiting in the Talon, right? Baiting in the Talon here and flashes behind the W, the Talon W. And that is just very, very good. Very good micro, right? Just knowing where... Ooh. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, you're just dead there. Just knowing where the Talon is going to uh, end up if he jumps on him. Baiting it out. One step ahead, this guy. So very interesting that he's running Grasp. Oh, and he will catch the Talon out, and Talon can't do anything. The minion there to repel down on. And you take little damage. And this is what makes the Elise so scary in the mid lane, is if you're able to win the mid lane early on, then you can dive people very, very easily. Just walk at them, auto-attack them, deal damage, and then press E to uh, get out or get in. So here he's just gonna take... be taken down? No? What? He's alive. Oh, but Lee. <laughs> Lee showing up. Man, that's unlucky, dude. That's unlucky. Oh. No. We're looking to use the E here. Oh, listen, finding a lot of damage. We have to be very careful here. 
now we can't transform an E. He's definitely trying to make this play work still. Oh. Ooh, very good play here by the Soraka. A very good job actually allowing him to go in there and take the triple, triple kill. That was very good. Just flash E there. Created a triple kill. Very beautiful. Man. That was good, dude. Got the server so high for you. Oh, another beautiful silence. We are able to catch up with them. And actually, very interesting. We are running the proto belt into. I'm dead. <laughs> We're running the proto belt into the Nash's tooth, which seems kind of weird, right? Okay. You can see how he's like, yeah. He's trying to figure out where Talon's go going to go. Uses his E usually like at the last second. And just weaves in those auto cues. Nash's Tooth available. It's the new one as well. Oh, we're going to catch out the... And just one shot. The pike. That's crazy. And yeah, nothing he can do there. My god, beautiful job. Talon just does no damage as well. We have so much tankiness with this build. It's crazy. Okay, we're gonna take down the Talon here. No repel available though. As Lee Sin is forced to flash. At least. Not too bad, not too bad. 12, 5, and 1, dude. My man's doing very, very hot. So he does have a Magi Soul Stealer in his inventory. But he did die. We didn't really see why. And that cast apparently just important what he says. As, uh, well, Pike is dead. Talon. Not having a good time, but... We'll stay low. Stay alive for this second. As you can see that he's just hunting. He's just looking for things. 124 farm at 19 minutes. Definitely no high CS numbers. Are we going to see a flash here? No. But we are going to do some damage. We'll take down the Talon once again. Which uh, is great but also not enough. And Lee Sin stays alive once again. But very beautiful play here. Still getting behind that Ezreal of course. Ooh, listen. Oh, you thought you could ambush me, but actually you ambushed yourself. Oh, very good try there to flash the pikey, but... Unfortunately, that shit is almost point and click at this point. 17-6-1. My god, that damage is nasty. Oh. Oh no, cannon. Cannon is always an issue. <laughs> Unless you one-shot him. We're not gonna flash. Oh, we're gonna get out. Beautiful flash by the Lee Sin. Nothing you can do there. Good job, just flashes the, uh, the cocoon. Oh, very good job. And we're gonna get ourselves out. Easy peasy. Of course, this pick is gonna be heavily reliant on snowballing the game, which... Uh, it's going to be very possible on the Chinese super server. You see all of those aggressive picks. That snowball hard. You'll you'll see most of those over on that server. Okay. Good pick up onto the Lee Sin. Ooh, very good damage. That seems to be it. Well, thank you very much for watching. And I thought that was a very impressive uh, play. Maybe I will look for more Elise mid. Need you to uh, tell me whether or not you want to see more. And then we will look for that. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.